Then moving forward, what's most important to me is just learning how to be in the present moment. Uh, when you don't let your mind wander to the things of the past and you don't let it wander to the future, both of which are, are, are really hypothetical constructs that we've made up in language. I mean, you can never be in your past and you can never be in your future other than your thoughts. Now, your thoughts can buy, be in either place, but you can't. The only place you can ever be is in the present moment. So I try to align my mind and my body and my heart to be in the present moment as often as possible and as consistently as possible. And that's arguably my biggest challenge every day is being present because it is so easy for me to get distracted by something that happened yesterday or a month ago. And it's equally easy to get anxious or worried about something that may happen in the future. But again, I can't do anything about those. You can't change the past. Now you can change your relationship and your thoughts on the past. You know, you can look back on something that you thought was one of the worst things to ever happen to you. And you can actually say, you know what? Now with some, some you know, uh, introspection, that was one of the best things that ever happened to me because it's put me on a new path. So the facts of the event haven't changed, but my thoughts and my relationship with those facts have now changed. And then on the future end, the future is 100% hypothetical. It always has been, you know, the future has always been uncertain. People throw that word around right now a lot with the pandemic, you know, makes the, the things are so uncertain. It's like the future's always been uncertain. I've, I've never known what's going to happen 10 minutes from now, what's going to happen 10 days from now or 10 years from now. And learning how to have some type of acceptance and peace with knowing that you don't know what's going to happen has been really helpful. So uh, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with, with learning from the past. There's nothing wrong with preparing for the future, but I try not to live in either one of those spaces and I try to be present. And if I'm present and I'm aware of the pitfalls that I've fallen to previously and, and behaviors that I'm looking to change, they come up with great clarity. And, and usually within a matter of seconds, if not a matter of minutes, I can find myself quickly, you know, uh, tr a trigger to say, all right, you're doing that again, Alan. Uh, here you go. You're perform and and then I can start to make some conscious change. So to me, it's all about having an accurate evaluation with self-awareness, coupling that with learning to be in the present moment, and you'll get tremendous clarity. You'll catch yourself immediately when you start doing things that you know don't serve you.